Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I want to take a look at a cool uh, trick, hack, you could say, that I discovered recently in Google Sheets. Google Sheets being Google's online spreadsheet program. And what this is effectively is um, a way to bring in live currency uh, conversion rates. What I used to do is this kind of ugly system. I'd kind of write here, like, you know, Euro... Um, uh, sorry, yeah, Euro NAS figure out what today's exchange rate exchange rate is today one US dollar is worth 3.44 NES according to Google so what I used to do would you know just have this figure here 3.44 and then multiply uh, this cell by these cells in order to get the monthly um, amount of shekels or, or any other time I needed to convert currencies now the problem with this system is that currency exchange rates change constantly and certainly every day so in order for this to be really useful, you want to be pulling in the uh, live exchange rates. And thanks to Google's Ingenuity and the Google Finance API, uh, which can be called from Google Sheets, you're able to actually do that um, and bring in live uh, FX uh, foreign exchange rates into your Google Sheets. Very cool, very useful. So the application here is I'm basically just doing some a little bit of uh, mid-afternoon bookkeeping for my business. And I'm just taking a look at my revenue to date comparing it to my previous year's revenues for my writing business that's what's going on in this tab here I'm gonna do up some uh, charting for myself in the charting tab and in the income tab what I want to do is um, I want to basically see I'm looking at salaries here in US dollars and euro and seeing how much in Israeli shackles I need to be earning per month in order to sort of like reach so let's say my objective was to reach a salary this year of 50,000 USD uh, what I want to see is how many shekels is that per month and it makes sense to have live exchange rates in the spreadsheet because that number is going to change as the Israeli uh, US dollar rate and the Israeli euro rate fluctuate. I could do pound sterling as well but I'm just going to keep it simple and do two. So the first thing I've done here now, firstly I do not claim to be a Google spreadsheet wizard. In fact I am uh, not a spreadsheet wizard. I'm the opposite of a wizard. I'm relatively bad at spreadsheets it's not my strong point but uh you know i know enough for my own purposes let's just say and i'm making this video uh really partially for my own reference so that i can look back and remember how this works exactly if it doesn't change the formula is correct only at the time of recording this video so what i've done here is i plotted out salaries from twenty thousand dollars through to one hundred thousand dollars and i've just um basically figured out what that equals per month using a simple formula a3 divided by 12 and I've just uh, dragged that down here and that's applied that formula across the whole this whole range the reason I've done that is because in Israel we quote salaries on a per month basis whereas in most of the world um, in the US and in Europe it's per annum so the first thing now the reason I told you I'm not a spreadsheet wizard is um, I'm sure the smart thing to do would have been to integrate the um, division by 12 into the one formula so divide divide let's say a3 by 12 and then run it through the Google Finance formula I just did it this way because these figures are going to remain constant and uh, just to make this as easy as possible and show my step-by-step -step methodology here um, so firstly I've broken the uh, annual salaries in these currencies into monthly salaries that's going to be the same so I just copied and pasted that um, little uh, row of cells um, into the into the euro reckoning here and the only thing that I need to do now in order to get these into shekels but to do so with live currency rates is uh, to, is to just use this um, equivalence now it'll be pretty easy for me to see if I'm doing this right um, because the shekel is a big currency in inverted commas in other words one US dollar translates to 3.44 um, shekels today at the time of recording and sorry one uh, euro in shekels converts to 4.03 so we're going to get numbers that are about three point you know something to four times the size of the first ones so if the numbers are bigger by that amount it's gone well if they're smaller something's gone wrong um, so what I just googled here was google sheet currency conversion and extendoffice.com has the formula and it says basically you the formula you want to use here is take your target um, cell multiply it by Google Finance um, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this okay 
uh, Google Finance, Currency, and then the two currencies together, Source Currency, Target Currency. So I'm just going to actually scoop up this bit here, copy that, and I'm just going to say here that C3 is going to be equal to B, and I'm just going to go actually into the um, formula equals B, sorry, B3, and I've just done a paste here, B3 multiplied by Google Finance's live rate currency, and it's going to be from USD to ILS is actually the official currency symbol for Israel, not but NAS is just a popular a popular shorthand. Close that out, and let's see, did it work? Loading looks good. So that has worked, and what I can just do then is, um, and if I want to verify, I can just quickly uh, tot up uh, 1,666 um, NIS, sorry, USD in NAS, and that indeed equals 5,726.13. It's about the same number, slight discrepancy, I guess, because of the rate that Google search is giving and the rate that the API is giving, but it's within two cycles, which is, you know, within about not point something percent. So I can then just go ahead and pull this down. And you can see that I have my rates um, for all these amounts and then I can just use this little nice rounding feature just to, I just need it to the nearest shekel is more than enough. So now I can see that to keep up to a target income of 50,000 US dollars, I need to be earning 14,000 shekels a month, give or take. Um, to repeat the process for Euro, I'm just gonna go up here and I'm just gonna copy over the formula dump the formula there, except that my uh, source currency here is going to switch to EUR for the euro. Hit enter. It takes a second to load and that's a good sign because you know it's pulling from um, the API and this is just because the euro is uh, worth a bit more than the US dollar uh, in relation to the Israeli shackle. Uh, those numbers are a bit bigger. I'm going to do the same trick again just to round off those figures till I get to the nearest one shackle. And I'm just gonna, let's say 50,000 is what I'm interested in. It's not a bad figure to look at. That is 14,000 um, shekels in dollars. And 50,000 is, that's actually quite a big discrepancy. Uh, to keep up to a target income of 50,000 euro, I would need to be earning closer to 17,000 shekels per month. So that's basically it. Um, the cool thing about this is that these rates are live. So if I come back into this spreadsheet, into this Google sheet tomorrow, those rates are going to be updated and you can actually see there's a little uh, bar now at the bottom of my, of my Google Sheet saying quotes are not sourced from all markets and may be delayed by up to 20 minutes. Little disclaimer here, information is provided as is solely for informational purposes, not for trading purposes or advice. So basically those rates have been pulled into my spreadsheet, they will update and that is how you can use uh, Google Finance's live foreign exchange rates and uh, use those in a Google Sheet. Hope this has been helpful for anybody watching. Anybody with any questions about this or anything else just wants to get in touch, please feel free to reach out to me at my website. It's at Daniel Rosehill, two L's in Rosehill, dot co dot il. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.